This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Friday, June 1, 2012, in Canada. Current radar from Environment Canada and Weather Underground show extensive rainfall occurring over southern Ontario and southern Quebec. This system is large and will gradually move north-northeast over the next 72 hours. Tropospheric bands coincide with this rainfall and will continue to do so until the system dissipates or moves offshore. There is also high potential fallout risk for southern BC, especially around Vancouver. In the U.S., current radar from U.S. Military Naval Research Labs shows a strong convection and jet stream overlying the U.S. regions of the Pacific Northwest, Midwest, and northern New England. As the main system moves east, the rest of the east coast down to Virginia will be affected. The system is very gradual and slow moving and will bring rainfall to those areas for most of the weekend. In Europe, current models from El Dorado weather show a large jet stream over central Europe from the tip of Scandinavia to the UK, south to Italy and over to Russia. Luckily there is very little rainfall showing on Meteo France radar the areas that do receive rainfall in Central Europe should consider it as having high fallout potential. Northern Spain and France will also be seeing rain later this weekend, but other fallout factors do not point to risk of rainout. Recent radioactive tuna reports are slowly waking people up to the Fukushima disaster, but another facet of this is starting to show itself too, and that is the tsunami debris from Japan. Approximately 200,000 houses and businesses were washed out to sea on March 11th. The debris field is roughly the size of Texas or California, and the first evidence that it is almost here started in Alaska a few weeks ago. There were whole cities washed out to sea, including gas stations, propane refueling centers, fertilizer production plants, oil refineries, biological and disease research centers, military installations, and garbage, including medical and environmental waste. According to experts, this debris will most likely be radioactive as well. Oregon has put out a request for volunteers to clean up the mess. It has not yet been mentioned what, if any, protective gear will be provided. Remember the volunteers at the World Trade Center cleanup and the subsequent health problems they endured? They were told the debris wasn't dangerous to their health, too. At least the debris won't be invisible, like the ongoing threat of it in our air, water, and food supply. And our government will not be able to ignore it, nor will the seaside communities of the western coast of North America and Hawaii. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.